Welcome to another episode in the EPISD at Home MacBook Tips Playlist. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about connecting to Wi-Fi. Whether you're doing that at home, at school, on the go, if you're sitting at a Starbucks or a McDonald's, or you name it, you're going to go ahead, uh, you're going to have to connect to Wi-Fi sooner or later to search the web, to upload documents to Schoology, to watch some video tutorials like this one. So how do we do that? How do we connect to the Wi-Fi? Up here at the top in what we call the Apple menu bar, there is this notifications area with a lot of icons. The first icon I like to look at is my battery icon. When I'm not plugged in like I am right now, this would tell me how much battery I have left. It even tells me which programs are using the most battery. Next to that, we have our volume indicator. This tells me how loud my speakers are and I can click on it and change it with the slider or I can press the volume keys on the keyboard. Next to that is the Wi-Fi indicator. This is the Wi-Fi fan. And as you can tell right now, I have no Wi-Fi. There's no strength on this. It is all grayed out. So I need to connect to a Wi-Fi source. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. And in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on this fan. And it's going to show me the list of Wi-Fi that is available in my area. There's a lot of Wi-Fi available in my area. And you might be seeing uh, a lot of Wi-Fi in your area. So there's houses around where you live, apartments, there's businesses, all that great stuff. But I'm going to look for my Wi-Fi. And I have two Wi-Fi's. I have a 2.5 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi and a 5 gig Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my 2 gig Wi-Fi. So when I click on it, I'm going to get the option to go ahead and enter the password. And this is not my EPISD password. It's not your EPISD password. It is the password on your Wi-Fi box, on your internet box in your house. You might not know that password and that's okay. You're going to have to ask an adult in your home to go ahead and type this password in here for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If I type it correctly and I click join, then the Wi-Fi fan is going to start loading. And if it's if it loads correctly, if it's the right Wi-Fi, it should show full bar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Sometimes these Wi-Fi passwords have symbols. They have capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers. So all mine has all capital letters and numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and set the caps lock. And there's a symbol for caps lock. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password and as you can tell the Wi-Fi password is secure and nobody can see it now if I do click on show password then I will uh, show my password which I'm not going to do now but that might be something you want to do or your parents might want to do in order to make sure that they entered it correctly as long as we're not sharing the screen with anybody it's fine to show your password once you go ahead and type your password you're gonna click join and you're gonna watch the Wi-Fi fan start searching for this Wi-Fi and to make the connection with this password and if it's correct then I should have full bar so here we go that's it I've gone ahead and joined this Wi-Fi my Wi-Fi and I have full bars and now I have access to the internet so some, you'll be doing this uh, wherever you travel if you travel and you're in a hotel you might get free Wi-Fi from there if you go to uh, do a study session at Starbucks or McDonald's and then you'll have Wi-Fi there. Sometimes you have to buy something to get the Wi-Fi password, but a lot of times you get free Wi-Fi all over the city. At the a public library gives you free Wi-Fi. So just be aware that there's a lot of places that you can get at Wi-Fi, uh, but you can definitely connect at home. And when you get back to school, you'll be connecting to EPISD Secure. When you click on that, you will be asked for your EPISD username and your password. Once you enter that, then you will be connected to the EPISD Secure Network so that can, you can use the Wi-Fi at school. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure you check out some of the other videos in our EPISD, EPISD at Home MacBook Tips series.